joined on the phone right now by Director Mark Doyle of the Division of Emergency Services and Communications. Mark, thank you so much for being with us. Uh, what can you tell us about the timeline of all of this? Yeah, uh, good morning, Catherine. Good morning, Sean, and, and thank you for having me this morning. Right now, callers are successfully able to reach New Hampshire's 911 system following a temporary interruption, which we believe to be caused by a software vendor. And this happened just after 1 a.m. when New Hampshire's 911 telecommunicators reported that they could see incoming 911 calls on their system, but were unable to answer those calls. Calls that were initially unable to be answered were quickly returned to ensure 911 callers received the help that they needed. We were able to absolutely quickly back up process put in place and immediately implement it. And as of 3 o'clock or 3.30 this morning, calls and texts to 911 will be received as normal on the interest 911 backup system. Uh, we're currently fully operational on our primary 911 system. However, we do have the backup systems on standby if needed. And as a reminder, as you had mentioned, 911 is only dialed in the event of emergency. And residents and visitors are asked not to make any test calls for fear that it may overwhelm the system. Uh, the Division of Emergency Services and Communications here at 911 is continuing to work with the Department of Information Technology regarding this particular interruption, and we'll certainly be providing further updates as they become available. Uh, Mark, while we have you here, can you give it, again give us an idea of how long it was out for early this morning? Do you have any idea how many calls came in during that span of time? We do. We actually have been keeping track of that. We were able to receive 49 calls or C49 calls coming in on the system, and we were able to return calls to all 49 of those callers just to make sure that they were able to get the emergency services that they were requesting. And so, Mark, are you at all concerned that any of those calls were missed or that anyone can't get through right now to 911? Is that a concern, or are people being serviced as they need? Right now, people are being serviced as they, as they need to be serviced. We're being able to do all that we were able to do prior to this outage. We're able to locate and connect people in an emergency with the, uh, the emergency services that they need, and we're able to transfer those calls to our local public safety communication centers so that they can provision fire, police, and emergency medical services as needed. All right, Mark Doyle, the director of the Division of Emergency Services and Communications, giving us an update there. Again, though, the system is running on a backup system. Mm -hmm. They are taking 911 calls now uh, and do not call there unless you have an emergency. You don't need to call and test it. Yeah, that's some really good advice. Uh, don't overwhelm the system just testing the 911 yeah. calls. It is working. Like